rolling? Yes, all right. All right, hello YouTubers, and YouTube watchers, and all the above. Uh, here we go. We have returned back from our excursion to the Gucci store, or the mall, whatever you want to call it. I went to the whole mall, not just the Gucci part of it. Anyway, what am I doing here? All right, so I'm back finally. It was a long, tumultuous journey, but I finally arrived, and I came back with some goodies. Oh, P.S. Apparently, they have smaller bags for your shoes. Usually, they give you the big, fat-ass bag, but this is kind of cool. I like how it's, like, specific for this specific item. But check it out. It even has, like, a little uh, bow tie so your shoes don't fall out, and you can still carry them with the, the handles. Kind of an interesting touch right there. I think the Gucci department is actually stepping up their uh, presentation game ever so slightly. So that's kind of nice. I mean, it's a freaking bag. What are you going to do, right? Uh, new upscale boxes are back in full effect, full swing. Full this, full that. All right. And we get not one, not three, but two dust bags. Which is always a nice touch too. Because who likes just one when you're gonna have two? You do have two shoes, you know what I'm saying? Alright, and these are the sneakers that I actually got at the store. I wanted to order them online, but unfortunately um, they don't have them on their website. I could have ordered them from Saks or whatever, but ah, I was right at the store. I was like, forget it, I might as well just get them now. Get it over with. You know what I'm saying? So these are the shoes. Uh, as I said, they're not online at the Gucci website, so but you can find them on like I guess uh, Saks or I think Nordstrom's, perhaps Neiman Marcus. But uh, they're the new Ace Low Top sneakers. I don't know, but that's what they call it. the Ace sneaker. That's all I know with the the GGs all over it. They only come in the brown GG as opposed to the blue, which is kind of disappointing and disheartening because I kind of wanted the bluish ones, but the woman said that they're, they're only going to be having, a, I guess in this particular colorway, I guess if you can see the brown. But uh, what's unique about these particular shoes, aside from the actual red all over the, the bottom soles, which is kind of like the, kind of jarring uh, to a certain degree, but I kind of like them at the same time because um, yeah, I've, I've been wanting a pair of red sneakers for quite some time. Just couldn't find a good pair. And lo and behold, whoosh, these happen to be the ones that I uh, now have in my possession. Yeah, I missed my chance to get the Jordan 12s, the flu game uh, style, or the uh, red and black. And, you know, they're black with the red. And that was like a good uh, amount of red that was, you know, not super duper crazy, but just enough to make it red. Because I don't really want a whole red shoe. Red is just... It's just too much if it's just red by itself. So this actually, I had to, uh, you know, what is the word? Cope with, uh, with these instead. Well, you know, have these instead. So uh, as I said, they're a little jarring because of the red. And what's also unique about them is if you have other shoes, say like um, the ones on my feet. I'll show you real quick. This is the blue style that I kind of wanted. Uh, see how they have this like uh, crocodile on the front right here? All the other shoes, I think this is called the Brooklyn, the Brooklyn shoe. I forgot what they're called. But they have brown leather like all over this area right here. And this is brown leather as well. This is actually the first shoe that I've seen that just has the, the, the GG canvas all over the entire shoe. So that, I thought that was kind of a nice touch right there. And also the G's go straight this way, down, and then they come down. As opposed to this one, how it's, they're straight. Uh, they go down like this, and then on this side, they're still going straight. I think, I believe it's actually just one whole piece. If that makes sense. Do you understand what I'm saying? See, look, the GG's, how they go sideways, but here, they just go straight down like normal, like they, like they kind of should, because I, th I believe it's two separate different pieces. This is actually just one solid piece all the way. So, there's that. Uh, unfortunately, what Gucci is going for now with presentation, they're lacking in the, uh, I guess, utility style. Only one pair of laces. Ladies and gentlemen, one pair of laces is all you get now for all Gucci shoes. That's, that's what the woman said. Don't remember her name. She's not the normal person that helps me, but 
Uh, Geneva is usually the one. She apparently doesn't work there anymore. Very disheartening yet again. So these are the shoes, red. Now what's interesting about these is actually there's actually snake. They, they said it's water snake. I don't know what that means, but apparently this is snake skin on the back right here. What's interesting about this particular shoe is that one shoe has blue and the other has red. Because actually when I went to grab them, I was looking at both of them and I was like, oh, I don't remember the red ones. Uh, let me get the red ones. Because I thought they would both be red on the back heel right here. But apparently it's uh, red and blue for each one. I guess the left shoe is red, right shoe is blue. Right blue, okay. So here they are together. They look pretty nice. They're kind of like foily, as in shiny. Very, very shiny. A little bit more than I would hope. And it's kind of strange because it does not, I mean, it definitely seems to be snake. Because I have a pair of uh, Python shoes, which you can't buy in California. But uh, yeah, they look really foily for some reason. And they're dyed a very crazy color. But she did say that they were water snake. I don't know what that means, but that's what apparently they are. So, whoa, that's different. Remove only after sale. Okay, well, she forgot to do that, but that's okay. I'll keep them because I've never seen these before, and that's actually kind of interesting. Uh, what's also nice about these shoes is, well, I wish, really, really do wish that they gave you another second pair of laces. White laces, uh, it's very contrasting, but yet, I don't know, I prefer them to be red. They look, to me, a little better as in red. The tongue is the, the GG's all over. But what I really liked about it um, was the actual trim of the leather on, the, on this particular part. Uh, it has this like crimson red, perhaps, I don't know how you call it, crimson? It's not just normal red like the shoe. It's actually a very deeper, darker wine red or something. And the little tab right here uh, where it holds the laces is that same kind of red. That dark, 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 dark red. I like to call it crimson, and inside where the laces go, the gold, I like that touch. It's very nice. Gives it a nice little flair. The white laces, though, just, eh, they ain't doing it for me, unfortunately. So, and all leather insides, as per normal for Gucci. The soles, which I always take out because they are actually leather, and they're very slippery when you wear them. So when you're... When you have them, you're kind of slipping and sliding all over the place. So I usually take them out and put like an old... Uh, I usually wear Sacconis, and I usually put the Sacconis in there. And also you can tell on every Gucci shoe, we'll have the actual GGs on the bottom, actual inside sole. Insole, is that what you call it? No, this is the insole, right? So this is what it looks like. And they come, they come right out with no, no problem at all. So you don't have to worry about uh, anything like that. And they're pretty thick too. They're actually super great quality it's just the fact that the leather on top is way too slippery and it's difficult to deal with you're slipping and sliding all over I, I don't know if i can find something to rough them up to make them so you don't slip everywhere but i like something that is more of like a fabric as opposed to leather but these are really good quality insoles i mean they're so they're so comfortable they make the shoe very nice uh let's see what else and yes this is just the bottom the crest of gucci is right here all in red and I really like the red also because it's not gonna scuff as fast most of the Gucci shoes that at least the ones that I have all have like white bottoms or like this kind of like a off-white kind of beige bottom to the shoe and as you can tell it shows dirt rather quickly rather easily and rather often but this red could mask that uh, quite a bit and it looks better than it would be like black or something like that I was kind of hoping well, I really wanted the red, but I was thinking perhaps they would also make a shoe that was actually blue on the bottom. But I don't know if that would be as cool. I think the red really sets them apart in a big way. I mean, I, I really think that's a, it's a pretty good touch, pretty nice touch. I kind of wish they did both colors the same. You have the choice between both red or both blue, but they, they did one, one and one, or one and the other. So, eh, is that okay? Sure. Is it great? Nah. Would I prefer all red? Hell yeah, because it goes with the rest of the shoe. But it's perfectly fine. I kind of like the, the, the two different colors. It kind of makes it a little bit more interesting. Gucci is definitely going to the wild side uh, with their shoes nowadays. So that's, that's kind, of a, kind of good. Uh, I will also be putting on a, what is it called? On feet display for people. No, I shall not really lick these shoes. Even though they're new, I'm still not licking them. I'm not a licker. Or am I? Ooh. 
And yes, all right, uh, white laces, good quality. These shoes last a very long time. These bottoms right here are legit super duper rubber. You know, slap them on, you got protection all day. You get what I mean? So yeah, that's, uh, that's also one thing that I like about these shoes over Nikes and whatever, any other Reeboks or Adidas and stuff like that, is that the quality of these shoes are just gonna last a lot longer than those other shoes. Your Jordans and stuff, they're gonna fall apart if you wore them a lot. All the Gucci shoes that I've had, look, these shoes are probably like, I don't know, like five, maybe six years old. But you know, if you just clean them up a little bit, they look like brand new. There's like almost no difference. The bottoms, they hold up really, really well. You know, they don't, they, you know, they do wear because they are rubber, but they, it takes a long time for them to wear. And plus if you, uh, you know, don't wear them every day. I mean, I wore these, these are probably my, my more go-to. I wore maybe two, two, three times a week. So, and these are gonna be my new uh, rotational shoes that I'll wear a little more often. And plus the bottoms right here being red, they're gonna last quite a while. I really need to find new laces. I do not like the white laces. Not one bit. Perhaps blue? Nah, I don't know. I mean, I think red laces would kind of be cool, but then it might be too much. I don't know. I'll, I'm gonna figure it out. But anyway, uh, I will be returning with the on foot presentation. That way you see what they look like with a pair of jeans and whatnot. And there you go. But I give these shoes a good, uh, if I had to rate them on a system, I'd probably give them a nine. I usually don't buy shoes unless they're a nine. So at least in my eyes. I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, write it down below. Let me know how you're feeling about these. Would you rock these? Would you switch the laces? What color laces would you switch them to? You know what I'm saying? So tell me little things like that. How do you enjoy your Gucci shoes? Is there any particular Gucci shoe that you like, that you uh, love, fell in love with, have been wearing, rocking for a while? You know, let me know in the comments, definitely like. Also, I'd appreciate it. Give me a couple thumbs up. Makes me want to make some more videos and try to subscribe too. Hey, because subscribing means that, you know, you people like what's going on. So if you like this, you want to see more, boom, I will totally do it. And inside this box, you get, Little care cards, nothing special. And this as well. Same thing.